this. We're just about to get started here at Pivotal. It's a brand new company we just launched. It's a new platform for a new era. I get to tell you all about it in five short minutes. Can't wait to do that. So come on in, folks. I see you coming in the aisles. Come on down here and join us at Pivotal. Five-minute presentation. Someone will go home $50 richer. So come on over and grab a seat. He's like, yeah, why not? Awesome. Come on over. All right. Now, you guys, I do do a little bit of trivia while we gather up a crowd. If you know the answer, feel free to shout it out, okay? All right. In the movie Groundhog Day, what song repeats on the radio every morning when the day repeats at 6 a.m.? I got you, babe. That was a quick response. Good job. And what does Indiana Jones just hate? What does Indiana Jones hate? Snakes. That's right. Come on in, guys. Grab a seat. We're going to start our presentation in about one minute. I do have $50 to give away, so come on in and grab a seat and join us. Just fill out the white card in your chair. That will count as your raffle ticket. That is your entry to win $50 after a five-minute presentation. Got some seats left. Come on in and join us here, folks. All right. And who is the sausage king of Chicago from Ferris Bueller? Babe Froman, very nicely done over here. Excellent. You guys have seen uh, Vegas Vacation since we're in Vegas. I'm going to ask a couple Vegas Vacation qu uh, questions. Now, Rusty had a fake ID. Do you know the name on Rusty's fake ID? No? People either know that one or they don't. From Vegas Vacation, Rusty had a fake ID. What was the name on Rusty's fake ID? Nick Papa Giorgio. Yeah. <laughs> either know that one or you don't. You guys, come on in and join us. Got a couple seats here in the middle. It's a five minute presentation. I do have $50 to give away, so it's a great trade off. It's a win win. We're going to give some great information about Pivotal, brand new company, just launched. It's a new platform for a new era. I have five minutes to tell you about it. It's a short presentation, and you could go home $50 richer. So come on in. Got a couple seats right here in the middle, folks. Come on in and join us. Wonderful. Anyone tell me Elvis's middle name? Leroy. No, it's not Leroy. Aaron is correct, very good. Couple seats right here in the middle, folks. We are in Vegas, so let's see who can tell me how much a black casino chip is worth. $100, that's excellent. What's the tallest structure in Las Vegas? Stratosphere, very good. Couple seats left, folks. Come on in, $50 to be given away, five minute presentation here at Pivotal. Come on in and grab a seat with us. All right. If you're in Fort Knox, what state are you in? What's that? No? Kentucky is correct. Very good. And whose ad campaign was Look Ma No Cavities? Look Ma No Cavities. You got two options on that one, right? Don't know? Not Colgate, the other one. Gross. Very good. Okay, guys, as soon as we get all the seats filled, we will begin. I got three chairs left open. We're giving away $50. Come on in. Grab a seat. Fill out the white card in your chair. That is your ticket to win. $50 up for grabs. Come on in and join us here at Pivotal. Brand new company, just launched. It's a new platform for a new era. A couple seats left. Come on in and fill them up for me, guys. Gentlemen, come join us. $50 up for grabs. Five minute presentation. A couple seats left right here in the middle. Anybody know uh, the name of the Ghostbusters car? It's also the license plate. Going back to the 80s on you. Now, Ecto 1. How many miles per hour does it take to send the DeLorean back to the future? 88 miles per hour, that's right. Come on in, couple seats left. $50 up for grabs, five minute presentation. Come on in, there we go. Got fill out the white card in your seat. That's your ticket to win, folks. All right, looks like we got a full house. Come on in. As soon as those chairs off road, we'll get started. Welcome to stand in the back as well. Grab a white card off the podium, fill that in. That's your chance to win $50. All right. You wanna come take the front seat, sir? Thank you, my hot man in the background. All right, awesome. Hey guys, I do just have, I do have just a quick little ground rule for you if you can help me out. That's right, it requires a little bit of eye contact, perhaps the occasional smile, head nod. You guys with me? Awesome. All right, well hi everybody. Welcome to the Pivotal Booth. I'm Julia Riley, and I have the privilege today to introduce you to the newest member of the EMC family of companies. This is Pivotal. Now, Pivotal is a new independent company. It's led by CEO Pomerez, just launched publicly a few weeks ago. Now, the company is on a mission to completely redefine platform as a service for the enterprise and to enable traditional enterprises to build a new class of applications, leveraging big and fast data, and to do all of this with cloud independence and portability. So this next generation platform is called Pivotal One. So here's what the industry is saying about Pivotal. Gartner said that Pivotal has a bold vision. Information Week has said that Pivotal's vision will spark reinvention of corporate computing. Forbes noted that GE is all in on big data powered by Pivotal. 
IT Wire wrote that Pivotal is the billion dollar startup from the man who brought you VMware. So indeed, there's a great deal of interest, excitement, and anticipation already for Pivotal. All right, so now let me tell you a little bit about the history and heritage of Pivotal. Now this company, it's not your run-of-the-mill startup by any stretch of the imagination, has over 1,200 employees. The company's united uh, technology and people from VMware and EMC. So that technology includes Greenplum, Cloud Foundry, Spring, Digital Labs, uh, Pivotal Labs, CTAS, and Gemfire, and other products from the V uh, fabric of suites. The technology includes over 700 engineers recognized as leaders in the field of agile and rapid application development, data science, cloud computing, open source software, large scale parallel processing, and real time data systems. So again, it's definitely not your average startup. So how did we get here? Well, in the past three decades, there has been a generational change in enterprise IT. From mainframes that automated our financial information to client server and web-based solutions that automated our paper processes. And now in the consumer grade era, there's another transformative shift. Enterprises are in fact recognizing that they need to build better experiences, give their customers what they want, when they want it, and where they want it. So let's take a look at what is driving demand for a new platform. Pivotal believes that to compete successfully, enterprises will need to raise the cost of, of massive amounts of data, take in huge numbers of events in real time, and react instantly. Additionally, these enterprises will have the added pressure of interacting with legacy systems while pursuing a cloud strategy that provides them with options. And their development team will need to be able to rapidly develop the new solutions that exploit these other capabilities. The need for these capabilities can be seen across a wide set of industries, from manufacturing to telecommunications to retail, and even the modern agriculture. This is why there is a need for a new platform, and this is why Pivotal is building Pivotal One. So Pivotal One is the next generation enterprise platform as a service. It's the first to combine cloud independence, sophisticated data fabrics, and modern programming framework into a single platform. This platform is open and open source driven. It's data centric, it's multi-cloud, and it's both developer and enterprise friendly. Pivotal One is three parts, cloud fabric, data fabric, and application fabric. Now, Pivotal Cloud Fabric is based on the open source project Cloud Foundry. It's designed for portability, scale, and resiliency. The Pivotal Data Fabric provides sophisticated, high performance, and scalable data management and analytics with Pivotal's distribution of Hadoop, Pivotal HD at the core. The application fabric supports modern application development languages, making it easy to move between development, testing, and production. The Spring Java framework is a key component of the application fabric layer. The Pivotal One platform will ship in Q4 of 2013. But guess what? You can get started today. We have a variety of ways for that. So to get started with Cloud Portability, utilizing Cloud Foundry as an independent platform as a service, along with Pivotal Developer and Application Services, it's a great place for you to begin. To get started with data and analytics, choose from Pivotal Industry-Leading Data Management and Analytics Solution with Pivotal HD, Pivotal Gemfire, Pivotal Green Plum Database, or Pivotal Analytics. Another effective way to get started is through the Pivotal Expert Services, like Pivotal Labs to engage with software development experts to help you to create and deploy new applications. Or Pivotal Data Science Labs to learn from the Pivotal Data Science team how to accelerate your analytics projects. So we do have experts from each of these areas here with us in the booth today. They're just on the other side of the wall here. They are here to talk with you about each of these products and services, help you to learn more about the various ways that you can get started today with Pivotal. So to summarize, Pivotal is introducing a new platform for a new era, bringing next generation capabilities to the enterprise. The company led by CEO Paul Moritz is redefining platform as a service for the enterprise, has the backing of EMC, VMware, and GE. So that's the Pivotal story. Thank you for your interest today. And to close, I just have a short video from our CEO Paul Moritz and our Senior Vice President of Platforms and Products. This is Scott Yara. So take it away, gentlemen. Well, it's a privilege to be here. All right, so that is Pivotal. Thank you again for your time. If you'd like to follow Pivotal, there's our information there. I'm going to go ahead and draw for the $50 grand prize. So go ahead and turn in your white cards. We collected all of those already. Anyone else still have one? All right, lovely Karina. Go fan those out for us.
And Steve, will you do the honors of choosing winner, please? No pressure. It's all on Steve. Let's see, our winning ticket is Bhakti Krishna. Did you say that right? B A T H U? Bhakti? Yes. All right, going once, going twice. Let's try it again. Don't leave. Hey, congratulations. $50 winner. Thank you again for joining us. Please stop by on the other side of the booth for more information. Have a great day, everyone.